All right, Shalom. I want to start off with giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles, you know, it's a great millstone, peace of salutations to the hopefully elect. And uh, I was on my way to the gig this morning, and um, you know, I have been seeing this this past week of this group of women been standing on like the sidewalk of the street teaching, okay? You know, um, and I. You know, I don't want to use the word teaching. Let me correct that. I'm basically trying to inform women and give women this or, or push further the idea of when you're pregnant, you have options. All right. This is what the sign said. It says, don't worry if you're pregnant, you have options. OK, so. What they're actually saying is, okay, if you're pregnant and you don't want to be pregnant, okay, you can get rid of your child, okay? If you're pregnant and you still do want to go through of having your child, you can give your child away. You know what I'm saying? So this, this, this is, these are the options that they're trying to instill on the minds of these women, okay? Especially a lot of these younger women that may get you know maybe with the child and don't know how she's going to take care of the child you know what i'm saying or uh you know she wants to get rid of it before her parents find out or she find out that she laid down with the wrong you know individual okay who she no longer wants to be and uh you know uh be a a, a, a parent with you see? So these are the options that they're giving the people. But the point is, what I want to touch on this lesson is, what you are seeing is the world standing up for unrighteousness. Okay, this is just one This is just one example that I'm giving out. You see the world standing up for unrighteousness. Okay, just like you had the situation in, I believe it was Australia, when it said uh, you can now abort children, I think it was like like a further time period. No, no, not further, but like an earlier time. I think it was earlier or, or it was further out. Okay, you can abort your children. And the woman had a field day. They had a, a, a parade, you know. They had a parade and they were so happy that they were able to do such a thing. And see, this is all unrighteousness. But this is what you see how the, the way of the world is going, okay. I want to read this real fast. The book of Psalms, chapter 94, 94 um, uh, chapter 94, verse 16 says, Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Okay. So these people that are committing these such acts, these people that are, you know, pushing this energy, you know, of these, uh, of these such acts of unrighteousness. Okay. Whether they be of the heathen, whether they be of our people, right? These people will be destroyed, okay? And we, the men of the Lord, we are standing up and speaking out, crying out about the abominations. Or we're sighing and crying about the abominations that's being done in the midst of, okay? Like I said, the world is standing up for unrighteousness, Okay? This is what these people are doing. That's why when we always mention when we say this whole this world is 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 you know have this anti-messiah spirit, this is exactly what it is. This is this is exactly what it is, and you see it more and more every day. When you have when you have people pushing this this whole agenda of man on man and woman on woman, changing of sex, okay? We're talking about they're, they're teaching these children at four, you know, preschools, books, all these things of such sort. And they're telling they are telling these young children and, and the people of this world of this, you know, of all ages that this is OK. Right. And we're telling you, men of the Lord, we're telling you that these things that are being done, these things that we see, these, th these this is not OK. OK. But you, you people that are committing these such acts and, 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 and 
uh, plotting these such acts, you will be destroyed. So let's read this again. Let's continue on. The book of Psalms 94, verse 16. Who will rise up against me? Or who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? And we are the only ones who are doing so. So while they are standing up for unrighteousness, okay, we are standing up for righteousness. Okay? Let's go to the book of Isaiah, chapter 60. Verse 1, it says, Arise, shine, for thy light is come. And the glory of thee, the glory of the Lord is risen up upon thee. Right? For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall rise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. You know, but the point I wanted to touch on this, this verse was how the growth how the darkness says it shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. This is what you see. The darkness upon these people, not only their countenance, but the way they think, the way they operate, the things that they agree with. Okay, the things that they uphold dearly. And I say it all the time, I can I say it all the time. These people, right, that are in agreement with this behavior are so-called Christians. Can you believe this? These people that are in agreement with the wickedness, with unrighteousness, with the things that the Lord is against, these people are proclaimed so-called Christians, so-called Bible believers, uh, every uh, two day, three day a week, Sunday goers, right? A lot of these people, these are them. But it just shows you that these people, they 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 don't they don't follow the they don't follow the, the true heavenly father of the Bible, whose true name is Yahweh. They don't follow the true uh, the, the true savior of the Bible, whose true name is uh, Yahweh Shai. Who they ignorantly call JC. They don't. But they follow the God of this world. You see? And the, and these, and they're, they're the God of this world, of these people, of, of, of whom these people um, um, follow, who these people bow down to, is Esau, Edom. Okay, all right? That's exactly who it is. Okay? Um... Yeah, so I want to get this. <clears throat> no, no, no. Believe this. Um, believe it's James. Look at this right here. It's the book of James, chapter 4, verse 4. It says, Ye adulterous, adulterers and adulteress, know ye not, know ye. Know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with the Most High? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of the Most High. And these people clearly show you that they are friends of the world. Okay? Whatever the world say do, they do. Whatever the world or Esau says okay, they say, well, that's okay because he made this okay. So now it has to be right. You see what I'm saying? Because he made it okay, because he validates it, it's okay and it's right. No. What about what the Heavenly Father said? What about who his only begotten son said? 